Hi guys, it's Todd here again with the TW Home Show. Coming here to show you another video on another product. This is a product video review on a jewelry cleaner. And the reason I'm doing this product review is because it's been many, many years since I've actually cleaned my own jewelry. And this thing also cleans eyeglasses, uh, CDs, DVDs, if you still have any of those laying around. So we're gonna clean up some stuff here. Cleans coins, old coins and stuff like that you may have. Even shaver heads, you can dunk in this thing and clean it for a few minutes. And we're gonna see how it works. Stay tuned. Now I used to go to the mall, you know, every once in a while on the weekends on my uh, days off. But lately I've been working even through some of my weekends, most of my weekends and late into the days, like most of you, I'm sure. So I used to go to the mall and I used to go buy those jewelry stores in the mall and walk up and look at their jewelry and they say, hey, can I clean your necklace or clean your ring? And I said, well, how much is it gonna cost? They said, it's nothing. Do it while you're looking around here at our shop. So I used to get my uh, jewelry cleaned just like that for free. But it, like I said, it's been years since I've been to the mall. So now I decided to get this. This is a jewelry cleaner. Uh, the name brand is Family. It doesn't necessarily have to be that name brand. This is the one that I saw had most of the options I was looking for, had the large container. It has the LED display here and it's got some settings so that you can set your specific times. It's not like a one button press thing. You have options. So that's why I got that. I also got this Isonic jewelry cleaner solution. So we're gonna try it to clean some of this stuff up. <clears throat> I've got like this old ring here. It's got a little diamond in it. My wedding ring. Silver chain. And gold chain. These, I don't know if you can tell by the lighting, but they are not glossy at all. They're not shiny. So like I said, it's been years. They've been laying around collecting dust. I've also got some older coins here. Like this old penny here, it's tarnished. And this dime, and we're gonna see what it can do to coins like this. So let me get it set up. First of all, let's, let me show you how it is, what it looks like. There's a display. I've got it plugged in, but I don't have the solution in it yet. And then you can set your time here, 180, um, what's that, 300 seconds. This is in seconds, so like 300 seconds or 480 seconds is eight minutes. They say if you're gonna do several things in here at a time, pick, that, pick out that at least eight minute setting and it goes all the way up to 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. If you're doing eyeglasses like these, you don't want to do a whole lot of time, just about 90 seconds, which is a minute and a half. And this lid just lifts up here. It tells you the max mark right here for your fluid. Here's your tray for your jewelry. This is a little thing that comes with it as well. This holds your CDs or DVDs in place. You just put your CD or DVD on top of that ring there. You could probably put some rings on here too as well. And then these can hold your uh, waterproof watches or chains. Just uh, throw them on top there. And just drop it in there. Shut the lid. First put your fluid in. Your cleaning solution. And we're going to try this out. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you a before picture. These have not been cleaned yet. So we're gonna throw them in that cleaner in just a minute and see if we can notice a better shine to these coins and jewelry. So this is before. Okay guys, we're gonna fill it up with some cool tap water. Now the max line is almost at the top of that stainless steel uh, pan in there. But we're going to fill it just a little bit under 
because once we put the weight of our jewelry and coins and stuff in that tray that's going to lift that fluid up a bit and then we're going to take our isonic cleaner and we're going to pour just like about a cap full in there about that much all right now we'll take our basket we'll put all of our coins and stuff in there look at that dime that's in pretty bad shape so are these pennies throw those in there and our rings I bet those diamonds are going to sparkle after this cleaning <clears throat> and then what we'll do here with our chains I'm just going to hold them over top of there just drape them right over top of there this little tie cleaner here or the tie holder and then we'll just put that down into our basket just like this and we're going to go ahead and sink that in there and then we can shut the lid and I don't want to tilt this too much but I'm going to show you I'm going to set this it's on 180 right now 180 seconds so I'm going to set it to 400 seconds how many minutes is that let's go ahead give this a shot we're going to hit the start button I hear just like a gentle sound and a blue light came in underneath there that came on so our timer is going hey guys I just want to let you know I noticed that the chains on this uh, this uh, holder right here they're not sunken into the cleaning solution so how I would suggest you do this would be put them into these slots like that and then put it down in there like that make sure it's fully underneath your cleaning solution and that the door closes and we're going to run this just one more time for 300 seconds and go all right guys we're all done I'm gonna lift the lid and pull these out man they sure look shiny now I'm gonna lay these on the towel over here pull this basket out some of those pennies didn't get very clean I mean they were really dirty and uh, this one might need to be brushed first we'll dump these out over here and I'm gonna go ahead and try a pair of glasses see how crystal clear it gets those lenses need a little bit more fluid in there all right close that lid and for eyeglasses you don't want to set it for that much amount of time we're going to set it for 90 seconds and go ahead to hit the start button while I dry off these other pieces of jewelry and coins and see what we've got here. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, our glasses are done. Get these dried off. Guys, it looks like um, I'm very happy with how it cleans the jewelry. I'm going to show you in just a minute. As far as those coins, either they have to be in there for, you know, 600 max seconds that this machine offers, or maybe even uh, put them in there several different times and maybe get like a light uh, buffing brush for them. But man, these glasses... These are so nice. I mean, the lenses are perfect. No streak. 
This stuff says it's uh, streak free, this cleaner. And you just uh, add it to tap water, cold tap water. And for sure, it works miracle on glasses. <clears throat> now, as far as the coins, Look at this dime, it's still got some oxidation on there. Both sides. Not good, and it doesn't do very well on the copper pennies. Like I said, if they might need to be brushed out. These nice silver coins here, like this quarter, that did really well. I see a nice sheen gloss to it. As well as for the nickel, a nice shiny gloss finish very shiny and my jewelry here I'll get you over to here that turned out really well that diamond I mean it's sparkling from across the room as well as these diamonds I can see them from across the room for sure and my wedding ring put that on very nice very nice silver and gold trim with those diamonds in there nice the tie holder nice silver really shows off now and this silver chain here very bright especially that side there nice and bright and as well as my gold chain. I mean, it looks brand new. I'm telling you, it looks brand spanking new. Stay tuned, let's have a final talk about this thing and see how it did. Guys, check this out. I got my jewelry cleaned. Uh, I almost look like Mr. T. Actually, you can call me Mr. T because my name's Todd. And my jewelry's cleaned. Uh, I feel like going out and uh, walking around the mall now showing all this stuff off I haven't been to the mall in so long that's the reason I got this jewelry cleaner so ironic huh well anyway guys I have to say this is a go uh, as far as the coins are concerned you're gonna need like a little Microsoft brush or something to get that started uh, maybe you know they say use pencil erasers and stuff like that on coins that works really well to get initially all that hard residue off and then put them in this jewelry cleaner. You'll be good to go. Guys, get you, don't forget some of that cleaner. I'm gonna put all the links to the Family Sonic Cleaner and the uh, other jewelry cleaner solution that you might wanna pick up at the same time. And go ahead, look at the description below what we did here. And uh, you know what, guys? Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate your following. And I'll see you guys on the next video.